Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another video. Now this is called 10 Segways That Should Never Be Split. Really, a segue is when a song runs into the other song and there's um, no gap between them. And this is 10 uh, sets of two songs which I think sound better taken as two songs rather than splitting them up. Um, I know some of these have been split up because certain ones were singles and certain ones were just LP tracks, but to get the best listening experience you have to listen to the two songs. Okay, the first one up is from David Bowie and it's All You Pretty Things going into Eight Line Poem. No space between them from the last uh, note, piano note of All You Pretty Things, to the first slightly lower piano note of Eight Line Poem. I think it's just magnificent. And the first CD came, that came out on the RCA in the mid 80s actually grouped the two of them together under one track, which is the way it should really be. Ever since, you know, uh, the CDs are programmed to be two tracks. But to hear all you pretty things and not hear the next note of Eight Line Poem, it just doesn't sound right. So that's the first one is All You Pretty Things, Eight Line Poem. Second one, the Beatles have had quite a few, and obviously one side of Abbey Road is one of them. And there's another one, Sergeant Pepper, with a little help from my friends. But the one I'm going to go for is at, uh, Back in the USSR, going into Dear Prudence. Now, Back in the USSR was a single in the mid-70s here. Dear Prudence is just an excellent John Lennon song, but the two of them together actually enhances each of the songs. Well, I think so anyway. Um, I can't play one without the other, and as the uh, outro of Back in the USSR uh, comes about, you're expecting to hear those a uh, guitar picking of Dear Prudence, and if you don't hear it, there's something wrong. So Back in the USSR and Dear Prudence for me is another one. The third one is actually three in a row, and it's from the Electric Light Orchestra on their on the third day album. And it starts off, well really you could nearly say the full of the first side, but especially from Bluebird is Dead into Oh No Not Susan and then going into New World Rising. Now I've, I love Oh No Not Susan, but I've heard it individually as the B-side to Mama Bell, and it's just not effective. It has to be coming straight after Bluebird is Dead, and I think it's magnificent and then obviously going into New World Rising, but I could say the whole of side one is one huge big segue, but especially those three. Something a little bit different, and it's Boney M. <laughs> and it is um, Night Flight to Venus going into Rasputin, which takes up about 9-10 minutes or so, well it could actually be 11. It's brilliant. The Night Flight to Venus is just Dance with the Devil from Cozy Powell. It's exactly the same drum pattern. And then with the oi, oi, oi's and all the rest of it. And it goes into the acoustic guitar of Rasputin, which was a single in its own right. And it's not as good as this. To get the two of them together is a fantastic piece. I absolutely love it. It really is good. So Night Flight to Venus and um, Rasputin. Number five uh, is Chris Rea, The Road to Hell Part 1 and The Road to Hell Part 2. They are two individual songs, but they're really one piece. Now, Part 2 was released as a single, and it's very good. But it actually is enhanced if you hear Part 1, which is really creepy. Um, it's actually quite disturbing. Uh, the sound effects of a guy on the road with the rain hitting the windshield and so forth and this woman comes up to him walking along the side of the road and it's his mother who had died and she's saying that you're not on the road to wherever you're going you're on the road to hell it scares the living daylights out of me but it works really well and then as you know it starts to fade you start getting the drums of um road to hell part two which is a fantastic song in its own right but together it's an absolute masterpiece Number six, and quite a simple one, and it's Simon and Garfunkel, and it's Old Friends going into Bookends theme. Now, it's the orchestral arrangement of this, and whenever the, I think it must be the string notes go down a little bit, 
and then you hear the first uh, plucking of the guitar on Bookend Theme is absolutely amazing. And Bookend Theme isn't a great song, but put together with old friends, it's just one lovely, lovely piece. And so that's my number six. Number seven, and it is from Kate Bush's Never Forever, and it's Babushka going into Delius. And now at the end of Babushka, which is a single, and it faded out um, for the single, you hear like it's almost like a smashing of glass and the clattering of stuff, and then you hear the uh, the keyboards going into Delius, which I think is magnificent. And again, it enhances both songs, especially the Delius song, because for it to start off just the way it does, it just it wouldn't so sound right without the smashing and the clattering of glass or whatever sound effects they have. But it's really good, and um, as I say, I can't play one without playing the other. Number eight, and um, from Cockney Rebel, and it's from their Psychomoto album, and it's the first song, Sweet Dreams, going into the title track, the Psychomoto. Um, yeah, Sweet Dreams only a couple of minutes long. It's a great little number on its own right, but it needs something to back it up. And as it's just about to fade, you get the drums going into the Psychomoto which is a really good song in its own right as well but together they're brilliant and then obviously with after the drums comes like the screechy violin that you get on this really really good album and it's a fantastic way to open the album so that's Sweet Dreams and the Psychomoto number nine and it's from Iggy Pop and James Williamson and it's the start of side two now the first track is Night Theme Reprise which is a little reprise of Night Theme on side one. It's a little instrumental track. It's a catchy little thing and then it goes into all these weird sound effects and so forth. And then bang, the drum and then the guitars for Constellation Prizes. Now Constellation Prizes is a decent rocker, but together they work perfectly. And if I ever have to make a compilation CD, the two of them have to go together. And I'm always scared in case there's a little bit of a break between them. You know the way whenever you do mix CDs, there's also almost like a little third of a second break. I would actually merge the two of them together into one track. So that's uh, Night Theme and Constellation Prizes. And this is a pretty good album. This is the one that he recorded around 75 whenever I believe he was in rehab and then he was let out to work on it. And then he had a report back and again and so forth but it came out in 78. And then probably the most famous one, and you would never play one without the other, you would never play the first track on its own, you would never play the second track on its own, and now with the CD releases, um, the, the two tracks are blended into one. And it's Elton John's Funeral for a Friend and Love Lies Bleeding. Uh, absolutely magnificent piece of work, and there are two really good songs on their own, although Funeral for a Friend would be a little bit lacking uh, Lovely Speed is a great little rocker, but together they're both absolutely fantastic, so I think everybody would agree with this one. You can't have one without the other. Okay, that was a short video and just in 10 segues that I think cannot be split. I'm sure there's more and I'm sure you've got quite a few as well. Um, some, yes, I do think could be split. There's one in particular, Nick Lowe's uh, Burning Going Into Heart from his Nick the Knife album. Uh, they actually split it for the CD, they, they um, uh, faded out the end of Burning and just started afresh with uh, Heart, although in the album they more or less um, blend them together, they segue into each other. It's the same with Abba's Lay All Your Love On Me and The uh, the Way Old Friends Do. In one of the CD editions they, um, they fade out lay all your love on me and have a gap and then start on with the way old friends do so anyway that's me for now i hope you enjoyed that and um, i hope to have another video quite soon all the best now bye bye